Welcome into Time to Thrive with Thomas Cox. Thomas Cox joining me. Welcome back in. So glad to be here. We have covered a variety of topics, mm -hmm. but this is something that, that kind of hits close to home for me because I feel like, hey, you know, I'm the only one on the show. I, I do right. three hours of show prep. I got two hours of post show, three hours where I just talk to myself. Right. Thomas, I'm worn out. I'm right. tired. I'm busy, man. I'm busy. I'm too busy right. to work out, Thomas. Right. I, I, my, my guy always tells me all the time at the gym, you know, somebody who is busier than you, right. who has who has way more stuff to do, who has kids, who has to work on their car when they get home. They got to pour oil in it yep. because it's struggling. They're working out. Right. They're getting better. Yeah. And, and that's something where I saw on one of your blogs, busy is not a badge. Right. Like busy can't be something you wear around. That's what people do. Uh, you know, how's everything? Well, oh, we're busy. <laughs> Busier in a one arm <laughs> paper hanger. <laughs> you know, I mean, it is. It is used as a badge because busy – Equate, people equate busy with success. If I'm busy, that, that means that I've got money rolling in or I've got things to do. What happens is, is a lot of times people are not good planners. Yeah. And so they so get busy things. could be like procrastination. Absolutely. Procrastination is like masturbation. You're only screwing yourself. Procrastination is, it, it is one just. It's, it's bad. Massive. But people, everybody loves to do but it. But here's the thing. People say, well, I'm a perfectionist. No, you're a procrastinator. Because it's got to be cer perfectly right and all the – no, you're not a perfectionist. You're a procrastinator because you don't want to just go do it. It's got – all the stars have got to be aligned, and my pencil has got to be right here, and my notebook has got to have a fresh sheet of paper, and there's got to be four bars on the on Wi-Fi. No, go do what you're supposed to do. Get priorities in line. And make sure that you're doing what you what you need to do, not what you want to do. Don't get caught on rabbit trails. Put off, take off Instagram or Facebook or whatever it is your thing is. To take all your notifications off, and just get things done that needs to be done, and do those things. And don't sit there and go, "Why I'm so busy?" No, prioritize. There are some things that can wait. There are some things that can wait, and people get so oh, I'm just so busy. I didn't have time to go work out. No, you do. You do have time to work out. This, this cop came up to me the other day. We're at Highlands College. We're feeding Highlands College. And this cop turned his legs he's like, little, uh, I need to lose a little bit. I, I mean, I go to the gym three days a week. And I, you know, I eat pretty good. And I just, I really want to lose like 15 pounds. I'm like, no, you don't. I said, no, you don't. I said, you really don't want to lose 15 pounds. I said, because if you wanted to lose 15 pounds, you would lose it. I said, but if I said, hey, Jimmy, you got 60 days to lose 15 pounds. If you don't, I'm going to take your son and I'm going to take him to another country. You would lose the freaking weight. And so you'd lose it in like a week. So people are not, they're, they're motivated, but motivation wears off. Okay. Sometimes you got to do things anyway. Sometimes you got to do things even though you're not comfortable. Sometimes you got to do things even if you don't want to. I'm going to be honest with you. I did not want to go this morning to work out with the F3 group and do freaking Indian runs and burpees and box jumps and all that. I didn't and, then do, and then on come here. And then come here. I didn't want to do all that. But I did it. I did it anyway. You know, I wake up at 4 o'clock every morning. There's some days I don't want to. But I do it anyway. You know, and so how in the world do you get yourself out of bed at four o'clock? Like, like and, and do all of that, knowing that you could sleep in and still get what like your necessities done. Because it because the necessities don't produce success. Yeah. But it's all the thing that goes in the top of it extra. The getting the, the bare minimum done does not produce success. If you want to be successful, if you want to achieve more and if you want to do more and you want to be great, you cannot do the necessities. You gotta do the necessities, but you've got to do more. The necessities feel like they're easier to do when you're doing more, though. Like we just talk, about, and people always talk about being busy. Right. You're busy because you procrastinated. Like, like right. the the funniest thing I've ever seen is, you know, I, I'm really going to take care of my procrastination problem tomorrow. No doubt. You know what I mean? Like it's it's always, and and I feel like I'm I'm that kind of sometimes some ways right like certain things you procrastinate more than others like Absolutely. calling your grandparents or like yeah. you know maybe edging the grass right. or putting out pine straw right and then it gets to a point where hey we got a house party friday night i mean you, you we, we got we got to paint the doors yeah. we got to put the pine straw and out. you get all that done in four hours yeah 
And you're like, I could have done this on Absolutely. A, along the lines of three Saturdays and not burnt up any of my. I could have right. done it halftime in Alabama games, exactly, and I'd have been fine. Right. I think I think a lot. I feel like a lot of times people uh, pile things on uh, in order to make themselves feel feel good when it's okay to sit down. Yeah. It's okay to to my wife. I love my wife. She's an amazing woman, my best friend. But she she has 14 minutes to get ready. She's gonna do. She's gonna put things enough for 16 minutes to end that 14 minutes. Because she likes the rush, she likes the. Fa- I don't. I'm fine with getting to church five minutes early. I'm fine to get with so. <laughs> it's okay with me. It's okay to sit down and talk about our day, you know, because there's a time and a place for everything, you know. Uh, Chris Hodges, the pastor at our church, Church of the Highlands, talks a lot about margin, and having margin in our life because there's going to be a lot of times where 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 your the margin is going to save you. The margin you put in your budget is going to save you because you're going to need two new tires. The margin you put in your day is going to save you because, you know what, I got in traffic on 65. The margin you put at night is going to save you because, you know what, your daughter had a hard day at school and she needs to cry for 10 minutes. Yeah. The margin is going to save you um, in a lot of ways. And a lot of times we just don't have margin built in. It's funny you mentioned margin, like, you know, the margin on the paper. Exactly. Right, like on the edges. Yeah. Right, like when you're taking notes and maybe you get all the way to the end. Right. And you need to write two more letters. It. Yeah, like like you you need that extra margin. You, you need the extra margin. And we need the extra margin. And we, but here's the thing. I tell people this all the time. They say, I know you're busy. No. No, just, just tell me what you want to do, when you want to meet, and we can do that. I said, I can do anything I want. I just got to have a plan. Yeah, and so I plan like if I, making plans for this this uh, a, a, a business lady next week and a businessman next week. They're like, "When are you free?" I'm like, "You tell me." <laughs> Monday at noon is not good. Yeah, but tell I mean, well, just like scheduling for this. Yeah, I said, man, it's or it's really got to be based around the mornings because yeah. that's like my my free time. Like if I need to get something done, it's got to be morning. No doubt, because afternoon is and like I don't even have right. kids. My afternoons are clump, clump, clump on time, and it's not procrastination because, like, my stuff, I got to yeah. do it all after the show. Correct. You know, so my stuff is real afternoonish, yeah. and so like if we can get together in the morning, it's hey, does Thursday work? Nah, Thursday really doesn't work. Wednesday, ah, right. it's not good for me. Friday, okay, let's do it. Now it's right. on the books, and now we can do whatever do we thing need I want to. to do. Yeah, and so I think that that's that's one thing that we have to do is we have to we have to be better planners, and then also don't try to don't try to fit five things into into you know space enough for four. Yeah. You know, make sure that you got a plan because a plan with a plan you can achieve just about anything. If now, you've got a plan, you can achieve just about anything. What about the person who's not necessarily a procrastinator? Mm-hmm. Like, like take it for an example, somebody who wants to sell their house by next year and they have five big projects and every weekend they just work to get them done, work to yeah. get it done, work to get it done, and they don't take a break necessarily, right? right? Is there it, does it kind of work both ways with that plan to say, hey, you know what, this weekend I can hang out. Right. Like I got a little bit of time. I'm not gonna procrastinate, but like I don't need to be wearing myself out every single minute of every weekend. Right. I think there is a I think there is a balance I, I I don't like the two words I don't like. I don't like the word balance and I don't like the word busy. We don't use the word I don't People are, are you busy? Yeah, we've been we've been full. We've been full. I don't use the word busy. You know, it's like we talked about in a, another show. Can you use the word busy in the restaurant industry? No. Really? I don't like doing that. You don't I, like I using don't, it at all. I don't like using the word busy because it is a it has a negative connotation. So and what would I you say instead of busy at a restaurant? What would you say instead of that? Full. I would say full. I would say we're, we've got we've we got a lot going on. I, I would not use the word busy because I don't want to be the guy that used the word busy. I just we're so busy. No. No, you're not. You have time to make. You have. You can make time for things that you want to make time for. If my kid got sick, I would make time for them. If I needed to go, if 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 Coach Saban said he wanted to meet with me for 30 minutes about doing food for Alabama, I would freaking go make time. You rip his headset off right now. I would <laughs> go meet with Coach. You know, if th- there are certain things you've got time. Yeah. You know the the part that you have to do is you have to schedule out what you're going to do and you have to stick you got to be disciplined with it sometimes you've got to cut your phone off it's okay it's okay to cut your phone off it's so hard though it's, it's okay so hard okay to leave your phone in the other room for two hours while you sit with your kids or while you sit with your wife or whatever the case may be it's oh freaking k you know and so let's i think that we've got to get out of the way uh, get out of the, the path of always thinking we've got to be doing something and take time Take time to do things that you want to do, but also be diligent about scheduling out the thing your life. 
Take the 10, 20 minutes and schedule things out so that you can be more organized and not be running around like a chicken with your head cut off all day long trying to get 14 things done. So like you kind of stand in the way of yourself when it comes to procrastination, things like that, the busy mm-hmm. word. When it comes to taking yourself out of your own way, mm-hmm. like just doing it, right? L- like the old Nike campaign, just do it. Yeah. Right? I guess the new one too now, but yeah. the the – you know, like the mindset of just getting up and just go for it. Like, where does that passion come from from you? Because it's different for everybody, right? Is that like your kids, your wife, your family, or is that it's, like your business? Like, it's all of it. Like, I'm a, I'm a disciplined guy. I do things every hour of every day that I don't want to do because I know I have to do them, and I know they're going to make me better. Like we talked about it once before, sitting in the ice. It's. It, I know that the three minutes I'm going to do that is going to make me mentally tougher to take on the things I, I do on a, on a daily basis. You have to do hard things, number one. You have to do hard things, number one. You have to do things you don't want to do, okay? You have to do it like like Mel Robbins says, do it anyway, okay? And you got to do it scared. you got to do it scared. Sit, sit, sit there and say, I don't want to jump off this cliff or I don't want to, I don't want to go speak in front of these people. I don't either. Do it scared. I'm scared. Do it scared. <laughs> it's okay to be scared. Do it anyways. Do it anyway. Yeah. Because what happens is if you, we get outside, if we're not comfortable, we don't have the perfect feeling, the perfect weather, the perfect anything, we don't want to do things. Do it anyway. It's just, it, it's so, like you fire up so many people, like like just by the way you live and like the way you talk, but you always talk about you can say it, but until you act like yeah, it, until you put it, it into action, and and it's just yeah. it's just incredible uh, to think that way. Like, get out of your own way. Don't procrastinate. Right. Like, like don't don't use this kind of wording because this kind of wording gets in your mind Absolutely. and it just brings you down. The Bible talks so many times about the the power, life and death, and the power of the tongue. What is it? I said life and death. What's that mean? It means that the positive and the good things I speak into my life I are they are they're life to me, but also the negative. There are negative things if I speak, you know, my kids are always getting sick. My kids stay sick or or I just can't I, I just can't catch a break. You know what? You're not going to catch a break, ma'am. You're not going to catch a break cuz all you talk about is not catching a break. Yeah. You're not going to talk it into you existence. You ain't going to talk it into yeah. existence, but you are, you, you, you can, you're more likely to talk it into existence from a negative way than a positive way. Yeah. So quit speaking negative over your life. My daughter said, you know, the other day, she said, well, I, I probably won't make it anyway. Talking about, like, choir or something like that. I'm like, well, you sure ain't gonna, uh, talking like that. <laughs> now you really not. Yeah. And so it's like what the old Henry Ford said, well, do you think you can or you think you can't? You're right. Yeah. You know, you've got to have a positive mental outlook. And if something doesn't come to fruition, you got to say, okay, what can I learn from this to make yeah. myself better? Like, like if you you got to learn to take a loss. Like, you got to love to love getting a loss because you can learn from it and turn that into something else. Ain't nothing wrong with losing. Ain't nothing wrong with falling down. The people that fail is when they fall down, they stay down. Yeah. You like, gotta, like they effortly exactly. like lose. Like exactly. you got to get back loss. up. you got to get back up if you, if you screw it up. Time to thrive with Thomas Cox. Thomas, thank you so much. Thank again. you. Yes, sir. We'll see you soon. All right.